Hi guys, Rachie Bop here. Welcome to What Up Wednesday. Apologise for the light. I'm filming quite late in the day, so you know, focus on the good points that you can see the screen. I was trying to get air server to work for this, but something's happened, and I don't know. Like I'm having major software issues between my phone and that, and I can't get airplay to work, and it's all just a big mess. So I'm just doing it like this again this week. Today I'm reviewing an app called CamWow. This was requested probably years ago by SassyGirl0099. So thank you to, I presume her, for requesting this. It's a free app, we like free. And it's basically, oh this is me, look, hello. We've got it, <laughs> I've got this big point on my head because we've actually got filters. And this is a, a filter app, so. I'll try and show my face a little bit. You can see the different filters as I put my head into the shot. Try and get myself a little bit more central. There we go. So you can see how my face changes in each one. And then you just scroll to the side. You can see how it's changing there. Hello. That one's good. They're all very different. You can see how many different ones there are. There's four on each page. That one's even got four in one. And this page. And the last one is just an advertisement to get you to get the next app, which is CamWow Retro, which is also free, I believe. I'll just check that. Yep, that's also free and has more effects with it as well. So it's not trying to sell you anything, which is nice. So if you do pick one that you like let's choose this one yeah everyone likes these kind of filters so and I imagine I would like to take a photo I can turn this around this has obviously not been optimized yet for iOS 8 or even 7 or anything it really needs updating desperately but anyway oh I can't stop moving my head um, you can flip the camera around by pressing that obviously the table underneath so you're not going to see anything you can press that to get your settings you're going to get a watermark if you want to remove it you will have to pay for the app I'll just press it and we'll see how much it is no thank you if you use it a lot that might be worthwhile otherwise stay away from that that effects button will take you back to the effects that we've just seen we can click that to take our picture who would like to access our photos okay Sure. And then if we click that, whoo, we can now see the photo. And as you can see, it's got this massive, really badly placed uh, logo that's off screen. Camu for the eif. Uh So they really need to work on, like, actually <laughs> on the app, like the sizings and things. But you can very easily get around that watermark if you just use the filters photograph yourself up here, crop it out, it's so easy to do on the new software and with all the apps we've got so if you do find a filter on this that you like it's definitely worth using but I wouldn't pay for it. I think it's a fun little app, it's got a heap of filters in there and they've got another app with more filters, retro filters and it's just, I mean, that. I think it's fun and it's free. I don't think I'll keep it but I'm going to give it, ah, this is hard, I'm going to give it four big fat moves, but I think that they could do a whole lot more with it and I feel like it might have been abandoned um, just because of this situation and the sizing of the actual platform when you're in it, but four big fat moves just because it's free and it's fun. So let me know what you think about CamWow in the comments and I'll see you next week. Bye!